Hey, 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 Paul. Hey, JJ. What's going on, man? Ah, uh, you know, living the dream. Living yeah. the dream. Hey, how are you? What's what's happening with you? Anything exciting? Uh, you know, no. So, uh, just uh, what is this? Number four? Question number mark? four. Yeah. Number four. Let's go with yeah. four. So yeah, um, yeah. No, number four of Paul and JJ streaming again, and uh, we're uh, we're spending some time. But before I go any farther, uh, who are you? I am Paul Chukovsky. I am a managed OpenShift black belt at Red Hat. Uh, and that just means I help uh, customers and partners and other folks uh, use our cloud services. So that's uh, Rosa and ARO. Um, yeah. Nice. And who are you? Uh, hi, hi, I'm JJ. Uh, I'm a developer advocate for IBM. Uh, yes, I don't know what that means anymore. It's supposed to be a joke uh there you go um and i've gotten pretty deep into the instruct lab project which is the stream that you're watching here and um this is uh, as i said number four of paul and i kind of learning about instruct lab and doing some cool stuff with it uh because um this stuff is hard and you're probably gone down this journey and you're probably struggling with it and as two humans to spend a lot of time having to talk about it uh hopefully our learnings will help you learn something so you don't have to stumble down the same blocks. Is that right, Paul? Yes. Yeah, that sounds right to me. So what I was thinking, JJ, is we've yes. sort of been looking at Instruct Lab. Um, we finally had a pretty clean run through the Instruct Lab experience uh, last week. And so I thought maybe we could like take a look some other at some other stuff in the ecosystem. Um, mm -hmm. And one of the things I thought would be good is looking at uh, what options we have to actually do a like a local copilot. So you know, GitHub Copilot will help you uh, write code, uh, mm -hmm. and that's great if you want to use random code that people have put places with, you know, different licenses and you know whatever different you know accidental bugs or pu mm -hmm. or purposeful bugs right because sure. we're at the point now where people are actually um figuring out uh ways to inject um malicious code into models by seeding that code in git repositories and uh there's um common common hallucin hallucinations about say uh, Python packages that don't exist. Mm -hmm. And therefore, if you go and make a Python package by that name and put some malicious code in it, you're now potentially, uh, if people are just running that code, they get from Copilot um, mm -hmm. or whatever. And it's not just a Copilot thing, it's any of the large language models. Um, you know, So there's a bunch of uh, things there that people can do. Plus, you don't necessarily want the things you're doing to make its way back up to Copilot or to other large language models and be reused in their training data. So there's a bunch of reasons you might want to do a local model. And hey, you might want to do it just because it's a fun and interesting thing to try. No, so hang on, Paul. We would do. Hang on, before I ask anything, uh, are we going to be using Instruct Lab and or the models that we have access to, or is this going to be using something else? That is a great question. So we're not going to be using the Instruct Lab CLI um, and serve it itself. Okay. Um, you you might be able to because it does support uh, Open API, uh, Open API, Open AI APIs. Yeah, I, I get um, it wrong every time too. Don't worry. <laughs> uh, what I, I thought it might be a good idea to sort of travel down a a path that other people have traveled before rather than mm -hmm. trying to blaze new grounds on a live video and uh, have miserable experiences. Mm -hmm. So what I thought we could do is use Olama, which I've, I've used a couple of times before. I'm reasonably familiar with it. I think you've used it before too, JJ, right? I have. I have. And so Olama is uh, one of several projects that lets you run uh, models locally, um, especially if you have a GPU or a, um, a Mac with you know M3 metal or whatever. Um, and then, uh, you get kind of a similar chat interface to what we were seeing with instruct lab, 
Uh, there's also some uh, web GUIs you can slap in front of it, which can give you sort of a, a um, like a chat GPT type experience. We can have a quick look at that. Uh, and then uh, I'm hoping we can use the Granite code uh, model for cool. after this. Um, but if not, there's uh, some other models we can try as well. Um, basically, I've got a doc that someone wrote to do the whole thing, but they're using a different model. So I think mm -hmm. if we try and do the uh, granite model first, and if that fails, we can fall back onto this other guy's instructions. I am 95% sure that the um, granite model is released as a GGUF on Hugging Face. So right. that should be exactly what we need for this. Right. As he turns out, I learned the hard way. Uh, Olama requires a GGUF to run. Is that right? That's right. Yes, it sounds right. Yes. Okay. Good. Just checking. Yeah. Um, my computer just started to freeze up on me, but I think I got it back under control. Uh, just um, well, just because I'm, I like completionism. Um, here we go, and there is the confirmation that Instruct Lab is on the GGUF on on Hunting Face. So yeah, uh, you 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 should um, be able to emulate exactly what we're doing here today. Um, and Paul, please give me this document so I can put it in the little description so people can follow sure. along, um, and then we'll go from there. Sure, sure, sure. Okay, so let me go ahead and uh, ooh, hit the wrong button. Uh, I need to share my screen, and I'll probably share a whole window, a uh, whole screen. Share. All right. So we have uh, a bunch of doc, a bunch of websites. I've got loaded up to sort of guide us through this. Uh, and I've got our CLI down here. Let Perfect. me know if it's not readable and we can zoom in, but I think it's probably okay. Uh, so Olama, uh, you know, get up and running with large language models, run, blah, 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 you hit download button, find your instructions, blah, blah, blah. Uh, Linux, uh, all we really got to do is run this command. Um, obviously, um, we are not running this as root by default. Mm -hmm. Uh, so we would do a sudo sh there. Uh, to save time on downloading things, I've actually already done that. Uh, and one of the things that doing this does, uh, it creates a, a service and runs the server. Um, so I can do system title status olama, right? So olama is running. Uh, and then we can go ahead and attempt to talk to it. Um, Docs. Getting started. A uh, quick start. Here we go. Uh, Olama run Llama three. Go ahead and actually just have a look at what our options are. So serve, yep. create, show, run, pull, list, right? Uh, and so what we want to do is. Uh, now you already have it running in the background, right? Because you did the, the installation. It you know, right. auto start. You're supposed to just do the run. Yeah. Well, so what I want to do is do a, a list of models. Ah. Uh, and so these are the models that we already have. Um, I pulled these two down uh, today just so that they're already there. And uh, it looks like you already had this one, which is 28 gigs. So uh, yes. that's a huge one. <laughs> uh, but we can do uh, Olama run granite. So while you're doing that, um, I'll go ahead and throw in that there is one of the neat things about a llama is that they have a uh, a Docker file or a container file, depending on who you're talking to, whatever camp you're in, a type system where you mm -hmm. can um, uh, basically play with the prompt if you want to, or the system prompt inside of it, and actually have it as code, and then you can build the 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 model with like if you always want them to answer in the sound of mario right like as mario you can actually build it into the version right. which is pretty neat um yeah I, 
Olam is a lot of fun if you if uh, if you go down that path. Yeah. So this guide here, which we're not going to follow completely, um, is basically it talks through doing that. Oh, nice. Um, Paul, Paul didn't show me the stuff beforehand, so I, I have right. no idea what he's doing. <laughs> so you see, he talks. Uh, he's using Code Llama, but we're using Granite. Um, so here, model file is the blueprint oh. for creating and sharing models with Llama. I uh, create a custom configuration model and upload it to Llama to run. Blah blah blah. Uh, so we can create a model file, right? And so we can go ahead and do this. I'm sorry, Paul. I didn't mean to spoil your uh, your flow there. <laughs> no worries. Um, not a problem. Uh, let's do this. Make the uh, call it autopilot because uh, I think copilot's uh, not a great way to think about it, right? Because a copilot is an actual pilot who is acting in a uh, collaborative mode with the with the you know the first officer or whatever, right? Yep. Whereas uh, what you have with a code assistant is it's really a it's an assistant. It's not a it's not it's not a full pilot, right? Mm -hmm. It's uh, it's more of an an autopilot. So it might help you set <laughs> speed. It might you might be able to say fly from here to here, and it'll do that. But like you're not gonna. Let, let it run unsupervised, whereas a copilot can run unsupervised. Yes. So anyway, I prefer the term autopilot, but whatever. Um, so uh, container file. No, not container file. Wow. That's there you go. So, some, someone uh, showed the Red Hat. Someone just showed the Red Hat right there. <laughs> right? Uh, model file. We'll paste some stuff in. Uh, and then this from we need to change yep. to, uh, was it? Granite, granite dash, dash code. eight, granite dash code, colon. Oh, I don't remember. They're right there, top. Granite, right there. Right. And so one thing you'll see here is I'm actually at the Olama library, not Hugging Face. And so yes. Olama has its own uh, library of things that are like GGUF, definitely known to be compatible with um, Hugging Face, with with, with, mm -hmm. <laughs> with Olama. You can add hugging face and stuff as another repository as well. Um, but I generally start with the Olama repository itself because you sort of you're getting some guaranteed level of compatibility. Nice. Um, and so you can see we've got uh, was it granite code colon uh, eight being struct. Looks right. Hold on. Check granite dash code eight b dash and stuff. That looks good. Okay. Can you hide? Can you hide that little stop sharing button? Because sometimes I get no. Don't click stop. There you go. There you go. Sometimes we. Uh... No, I know not to click it. It's okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, because this, uh, and then Olama create right. So. Yep. Well, I'm going to create, uh, we're going to call it autopilot F. F. Okay. Right. So now I can do the llama run autopilot. Right. That looks pretty so good. That, that looks pretty good. Now, I wonder if I could do something like this. Um, you know, explode code assistant. Mm. Um, I've not actually tried this before, so we'll see what happens if I do that. Oh, or, 
Okay. Ask, uh, um, ask how, how many, how many, how many dwarves were in the seven dwarves or something like that? Oh, right, there you go. Oh, boo. Okay. Anyway, yep. I, I, I should have, I should have actually uh, tested doing that before I did it. There, there is, you can get it to like actually not answer things that aren't related, but like whatever. Um, so good. Uh, we got that working. So the other thing I thought it might be good is before hang we on, try and... hang, we, haven't, we haven't seen any code yet. Can can you ask it some I a code thought, question real quick? Right, Python to play the game. No, right, the game snake in Python. I, I mean that looks right. Right. You got the game loop in there and everything. I mean, it's not, it's not, it's not beautiful, but it, it, it should work. Um, how can I chat with a model uh, without? Uh, the dash Q? Uh... Hmm. There, you there go. we go. Oh, oh. Now yeah, this works. Three. We're gonna. There's gonna have those three ticks in it. You know what it is. Yeah. It's, it's, it's never that we easy. Should we should be able to. I should have treated it so we could watch it progress. Oh well. Yeah, Not tree. What's the T? T. Yeah, T. T. I got it. I got you, buddy. Okay. I, I'm there with you. I'm there with you. That's taking a while. Right. Um oh, oh, there we thank go. You. Ah. I lied to you. Oh, PY that? game. I no, it's not gonna work. It's not gonna work. Why is that? Why is that? It was it did in a, a PY game, so it's not gonna. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so, no, you got. Okay. You need a GUI for it. No, nah, you for don't, it. bro. No, you don't. Um. Oh. I uh -oh. What? That's from the uh, random door. Wait, go go into the code real quick. Do they import random? Stop. Seventy three. Yeah, import random. Anyway, what? Um, it's fine. We can. Usually you can talk and make things yeah. better, but like for now, I, I don't want to spend too much time on this code and actually get to the VS code. Uh, and actually, maybe once we've got the web GUI, we can try and do it through that. So next we have uh, open dash web UI, which is kind of the uh, uh, Alama specific or just uh, AI specific uh, web UI mm -hmm. now. So I think they're trying to be more than just Olama. Uh, including Alarm and OpenAI compatible APIs. So blah, 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 key features, blah, 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 words, 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 how to install. Uh, so this is one of the amusing things uh, I find about uh, the AI tools is like some things only give you ways to run it in Docker unless you like want to spend hours trying to figure out where the actual download is and what commands to run. And some things are only like, don't give you that. So like, for instance, Olama defaults to just letting you run the Olama binary, but the Olama GUI kind of really wants you to use Docker, right? Um, mm -hmm. But that's fine. We can just do something like this. Oh, man. Uh -oh. <laughs> We're not oh, no. I thought I no, you do. I, I was, I thought I was being clever and had a command free run so we didn't have to figure out the 
differences here, um, but we can do this. So um, I definitely have Podman on here. You don't have Docker on here. Um, let's I, I, this. I care about my Red Hat friends. Thank you. Right. <laughs> uh, so we just do network host because it's got to talk to the Llama server, which is sitting on the host. The easiest way to do that is just to run network host. And that'll actually give us an easy way to access um, the app as well. Um, the rest of it looks fine. We just go back. Actually, we can do it in order. I like that. Let's go ahead and run this. If I, oh, yeah, I was about to say you don't you didn't declare any ports. Yeah, I was. Uh, we have to remove the dash p part of that. Okay, so podman ps. Uh, so that should be running, and I know it runs on um, port eighty eighty. So if we look for an IP address. Huzzah. Here we go. Um, and so this creates like a, a local user. So I can just do all that. All that. Wow. What doesn't it like about this? My password is not. One, two, three, four, five, seven. Paul. Oh. One, two, three, oh, four, five. Don't have an account to sign up. This is what I have to do. So the first time you log in, you create your first admin user. OK, let's go. Uh, no models found. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. It's OK. Work, it, work the problem. Maybe you need to restart Olama. Um, yeah, re restart Olama. Oh, I know when I, was play, when, I, when I was playing with it, I, I had to do weird stuff. So I want to make sure that we are talking to the Llama server, admin settings, connection, Llama API. This is, this is it right here. Add. How'd you remember that number? Or you just assume it's that one? Which one? Oh, is that just yeah. the standard? It's, it's, it's the standard Olama one. And I saw okay. it above, so therefore. Okay. I was going to say, you've been spending way too much time with this, if you remember that from the top of your head. <laughs> okay. Ah, I clicked the wrong button. OK, so uh, let's turn that off. How do I turn this off, though? Yeah, because it's no weird. Yeah. Uh, oh, maybe it's running a its own version of Alama. That'd be hilarious. Anyway. Anyway, so let's come back to new chat. Select the model. Yay! Here we go. All right. Uh, so now we can switch to Granite. Autopilot. Oh, Write me snake. Python. See, there's random. <laughs> uh, doesn't look like it's using it. Uh, it's got to be man. Yeah, this is this five gig. Oh, five, yeah. five gig in use there. Good. But now we can. Oh. Wait, running. No. Oh, we get that. Come on. That'd be hilarious if we ran it. 
Oh, there we go. Was that error? Go back. No. The code module. Oh, wow. It really it did try to run it. did try yeah. and run it. No module name curses. OK, so uh, we can come to here. Uh, five snake. Oh, you yeah, got uh, you set paste. Yeah. Of him showing. Yeah. That one's new. The hell? Oh, curses. You need to solve curses. That's a curses error. Um, but it's screwed up my. Yeah, reset. Anyway. Ah. How do you clean this type, up? Type, type, type reset. Oh, just reset. Word. Yep, and then enter. There you go. Anyway, uh, I don't want to actually fight with this, but normally you can paste the mm -hmm. errors back in here and kind of fight through it. But I don't want to do that. We could try uh, try Code Llama. Oh, did Code Llama come with the the thing then? Because you or did you install Code Llama? I, I had. Pre-installed it, yeah. Okay. And it's piped on. Right, so this is cool, right? I'm just switching between yeah. models, like, and and like it didn't take long for it to start working, right? So I had to unload Granite and from GPU and then load uh, Code Llama, and then you know actually answer the question and did that all in a few seconds. All right, so make that paste. Oh, caps lock come up. Nope. Oh, interesting. It's the same error. Yeah. Well, it's probably because you're. Hmm. Is curses part of the standard web? Anyway, uh, let's not get lost fighting it. Um, it is. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Yeah. So we have the web GUI here. Um, now, if you want to, from here, you can um, create. Uh, anyway, it's a pretty useful GUI. Um, you can kind of do most of the things you would do in, say, ChatGPT in it. Mm -hmm. uh, so like, it's, it's solid. But we want to move on to uh, trying to get the autopilot stuff working. So I think this is where I will give you a choice, JJ. Mm -hmm. uh, there is an Olama model file VS Code extension. Um, yes. Oh, this seems to be for modifying model files. The actual model files itself. So let's not do that. Uh, let's look at continue.dev. Uh, okay. So continue.dev. Uh, the leading open source AI code assistant. You can connect any models in any context, build custom auto complete and chat experience inside the IDE. Uh, and then there's buttons for VS Code and uh, blah blah and uh, JetBrains. So mm -hmm. I'm going to paste this into chat, and then I'm going to stop sharing my screen, and you are going to open up uh, VS Code. And I believe you just got a new laptop. So this is a brand new VS Code you've never used before, aside from connecting into uh, the um, 
that our GPU machine that we're SSHing into. That is correct. So here we go. Oh. Um, this is a brand new instance of uh, VS, VS Code. Code. Um, right. I have connected, and that is literally the only thing on this 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 machine. Cool. So, so I will copy this right here. Uh, copy. Come over here. By the way, dealing with bookmarks and trying to get that all set up is. It's oh my work. god! I have, I have a new laptop. Actually, should be arriving. Uh, later today uh, so i'll have to go through the same uh thing it's 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 hell it really is like you don't realize how much you rely on syncing and when you realize mm -hmm. it, oh jesus so bad okay uh yes continue oh wow all right install install i installed it hit the button yeah uh, press the button yay Okay. All right. Before you started, continue is currently in your left sidebar. We recommend. We recommend moving it to the right. That way, it won't. Um, okay. There you go. Okay. Uh, okay. Lo local models. Continue. Oh, hold on. No, go back. Yeah. So that's going to want to run it locally on your uh, laptop. Ah, good point. How do I go back? Uh oh. I broke ah. it. Broke it. Ah. Okay. Mandel. Sorry, Paul. I broke it. Right? Ah. Um, How do we? That's just going to hide it. it. I just stop it. Um, just hit the continue button, see what happens. Uh, and then there's probably a way to configure it somewhere. Uh, oh, there's a, see, there's a little configure button on the message. See, look at the message. Yep. Uh, Managing manage extension. extension. All right. Continue. There should be a. Oh, here we go. Button or add a new model. Ah, Olama. Olama. Uh, Advanced. Yeah. There we go. API base. There it is. All right. Uh, and let me. I can pick the. IP address right. somewhere for you. That should, be fine. that should be fine. Oh, yeah. Good point. Not just a pretty face, Paul. I have ideas. Right. Uh, and then select a model. It's got to load it. Load it, right? Where the hell is it? Right. Uh, click on auto detect. Oh, that makes more sense. Ah, here we go. Wait, no. Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, okay. So where. See the Olama there? Model auto detect. Um, yeah. So I wonder if we can just uh, set the model to uh, autopilot. That's the name of the model file we use. So, uh, no, above. See where title Olama, provider Olama? Yeah. Yeah. So. Um, just write autopilot. So pilot, like so. Yeah. Save this. Close. Can just, yeah. Um. For now. Uh oh. Nope. Models. Nope. Uh, this is not. Wah, wah. Wah. What are we doing wrong here? Wah. Wah, wah. Oh, I see. Um, you have to set the uh, API base and provider. Uh, provider is set. So copy and paste that API base. Like that? 
yeah, put a comma, and you can see provider's already in there, so you can delete the provider. Yeah, uh, save. Uh, and then press back on the on the on the right. On the right, right. on the right, yeah. Press back on there. Uh, uh oh. Uh, yeah, Olama. Uh, and just try. Connection refused. Oh, maybe it's not HTTPS. No, it's not HTTPS. Correct. Right. That's a start. Nope. Still connection refused. Now the version the when you did Olama, does it do we need to like create like a host zero 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 or whatever? No, no, because I access I access it um from my machine here. That's my. Oh yes, sorry, you are correct, because I only did the um the, the GUI. Proof. I yeah. only, only did the GUI. Um, so what we uh what we do need to do is uh, Petra system card or. Uh, do you want to just open up the um, Tmux, and I'll try and. Yep, right here. No. No. System. Obama server. Um, how do we the llama uh, oh llama I could taste this Paul we're getting close I know that much All right but here's what I think I'm gonna do uh you know what, why aren't you looking at my screen? You're looking at a different Tmux. Oh, whoops. Uh, oh, ha, ha, ha. I'm in the wrong one. Right. That's the reason why. Uh, LS. Uh, dang it. What? Attach session T0. There we go. My bad. Sorry. Okay. No worries. Um, so I'm stopping a llama there. I'll do. Yeah. That looks good. Uh, looks better. Yeah. So now see if you can uh, connect to it. API chat. That's uh, four or four not found. Interesting. Does it show up? Does it show up in here? Yeah. Post. So I'm I'm connecting it via the wrong right API. Right. Uh, I think have to, I think it should be like V1 uh, yeah. API. V1. There's... No, no, isn't it API V1? That feels right. Hang on. Oh, it's V1. It's just V1. Oh. Well, there we go. Or I'm pretty sure it is. Not nope, still a 404. Dang it. Try HTTP. Well, that's not right. Okay, what are we doing wrong? Uh, um, I don't know. We're just getting all sorts of 404s. 
Uh, so, what if I do? Wait, hold on. This, this is Olama. This isn't. This isn't OpenAI, right? Yeah. Look, but it says provider Olama. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just going to get rid of this one. This one's just confusing me. Title autopilot. Is there a version to the autopilot that we need to do? No. Did I spell autopilot wrong? No. Uh, yikes. The hell just happened there? I think um, I need to just um, did you do. Do you remember, do you do multiple environment lines or? No. Wait, hold on. This could be a configuration problem on this side. Hang on. Um, model of autopilot. Connection refused. Did you just kill something? Yeah, I yeah. did. Hold on. Bring it back up. Uh, well, I need to, because it wasn't actually. Uh, sorry, one second. I need to. It, it was running as a different user, so I didn't have all the models installed. Ah, uh, got it. Oh, so just make it as GPU up there? So the user llama? No, because the problem is that it must be storing the models and stuff in a user-specific location. Okay. Damon, restart. Reload. 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 Yep. So you do. Okay. There we go. Okay. All right. There we go. Ah. That's pretty good. So then I can be like a boom. Right. And then from here. Um, so save this as something dot pi. Wait, this is on GPU. Yeah, it's on the GPU box. So sa save on snake dot pi. Yep. And, and then let's run it. Python 3, make up pi. I wonder if Tmux is going to mess with its ability to. Uh, um, hang on. Hang on, hang on. Um, Python 3. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yes. 
It's a, it's a Tmux problem. There you go. Um, D. W. Oh. Yeah. That's a Tmux problem? Okay. You want to just go in with, uh, without Tmux? Yeah. Um, right. Let me push to sharing my screen. Share now. Okay. Yeah, there we go. So it's not actually working though, because I should be able to play it. Yeah. Uh, and it's not giving me a playable game. So, but that's okay. Like we've kind of at least got your chat working. Uh, mm -hmm. So you 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 share again. Okay. Uh, and then go back to your VS Code. Mm -hmm. uh, and now you should be able to actually do things in the code editor as well. So. Um, like you could, uh, let me think, create a, create a new file. Um, and I generate code. Um, uh, what would you say? Uh, write me Ansible to spin up an EC2 instance. That's right. pretty good. And then can you uh, do a new line and create a new task? So like oh, wait, do a... Hold on. I need to accept it. Option Y? There we go. All right. Interesting. So is it... Because uh, it should be able to auto-complete as well. So if you do uh, a couple of tabs, and then do dash space name colon create and uh, create and uh, uh, what is it a called? S3, a new, do a, uh, a new S3 bucket. Yeah. Uh, no. Okay. Come on, continue. Tab to autocomplete uh, code suggestion. Why is it not doing it? So it should be just auto um, completing as you're doing stuff. Um, mm. AWS M3, maybe that's why you put that there first. S3, tab. Yeah, it's not making any uh, suggestions. No, it's not continuing. Uh, is there, uh, click on the Olama like, uh, config, config button. This one? Yeah. Is there anything there about autocomplete? Tab autocomplete model. Ah, there we go. Where? Uh, tab autocomplete model. Star coder, 3B. Um, Provider, Olama, tomorrow. So we, we would want to change that to be autopilot. 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 Right. And then change the title.
Oh, there we go. Or jumped in there. Mm. No. Okay. Um. So tab complete beta continue now before to support the tab complete in VS Code. Blah blah blah. Setting up with code stroll recommended. API this an API key and entity config dot JSON. Uh, so you go to your config.json. Uh, so title autopilot. Oh, maybe I need to do this okay. API base thing on it. Oh, yeah, you, you do. You're right. So it doesn't actually know how to find it, right? Right. No. Yeah, so this is what I'm seeing here. Is it's telling to use? Um, uh, you know what we could do? Mm. Uh, let me pull Star Coder. Oh, uh, and so let's use the exact uh, example they have. Okay. Um, and so if you go back to your config, um, so title uh, provider API base. So uh, switch the model to star coder to colon 3B. Star coder. coder to colon 3B. To colon. No, no, star mm -hmm. coder 2, colon, 3B. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, and save that. No, you need the API base. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Edit highlighted code. Interesting. Okay. AWS S3. No. Right. Um, and then make sure you have the enable tab order complete setting in VS Code. You can toggle by clicking the continue button in the status bar. Right. Okay. So maybe we needed to toggle that. So that's on now. Nope. Okay. Oh, you can see it's it's trying. You can see the continuous it? wells. Yeah. Um, Maybe we should have something then other than this. What's another one? Um, um, what if you go to the snake up pie? Uh, and then uh, hey. Uh, our arg parse options for changing size of the um, screen and game screen. No. Okay. No. Okay. Um, yeah. So before main, before it calls main, yep. Uh, maybe like do a print, like you know, print as if you're going to print a welcome to snake message. Okay. For whatever reason, autocomplete's not working. Um, Let's hope that smells. Oh, 
I mean, that worked. What did, did you do? Uh, so I highlighted the comment I was doing, and then I did yeah. a uh, command L, and it yeah. took the diff and then shoved it in here to give me the, the basically the up the the change of it that I wanted to for right. the part. That's one. That's that's something. That's something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it should actually be auto completing for you. So I don't know. We're missing a config or um. Mm. Principal task to create a S3 bucket. Nope. Enter. Nothing. Nope. You there? Yeah. Are we yeah. Right? Okay. Right, we're here. Uh, okay. No. Well, clearly needs some work. But it's a, it's a huge step forward, though. Yeah, step yeah. I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm pretty happy that we've got the the, the GUI working. Um, so I, I use this a fair bit. Um, why don't we do one last thing? We're kind of at time, but I want to show off. Uh, Uh, yes, last last week I showed off uh, fabric. Yeah, I wonder if we can uh, make that work real quick. Production, quick start, setting up. All right. Uh, am I am I sharing? Uh, I would stop sharing and share again. Just be on the safe side. I don't think it's gotten. Well, it says a presentation. I don't actually know. Oh yeah, but well, you you see my screen, right? Yep. Is it big? No. Ah. Ah, I have to do resume present presenting. Okay. Uh, do we have PipX? Probably nope. not. Okay. All right. I think we're. Uh, we'll have to we'll save, save this for next week. Yeah. We'll save this for next week. Yeah. Okay. And but, uh, yeah. I, I think we should also try to get this working also for next week too. The the actual tab complete because uh, that's that's pretty cool because that means right. I can I can have some really interesting conversations around having this process. Uh, which I mean, we showed how to set it up. We just probably are missing a configuration that we just don't know about. That's that's what I think. Uh, and th there's other um, uh, VS Code extensions that kind of do the same thing. So maybe we could try some other VS and see if there's one that does auto complete a mm -hmm. bit better. Yeah, sounds good, man. Cool. All right, Paul. Well, I guess we'll come back again soon. Cool. See ya. Bye.